I I had this idea. I don't even know if it's good. I honestly don't even know if it's a good idea. I had this idea. I was in bed last night. I almost like wanted to stream it at the, at the middle of the night. What if we did a power rankings of everything? Okay? Of everything. So what will happen is the chat will suggest anything. It could be anything. It could be a fictional creature, a real life person, and we put it on this list of power rankings of who's strongest in the universe. And we write it out on a on a basically a, a Microsoft document. And because I I haven't consumed every property on Earth cuz I'm not a mega nerd, we'll have to do some research. We're going to have to do research on the internet to figure out if they're strong, where they rank. I wanted to start simple, right? Cliche names. Thank you for the prime. If we get 41 subs today, I'll do this crazy thing. Uh, it's gonna be insane. I'm gonna breathe air through my mouth, and then I'm gonna exert it through my nose. It's gonna be wild. People are gonna go crazy when they see it. You're really gonna want to get the 41 subs today, just Destroy. so you can see that. Hello. I'm still cute. I don't know what that means. Estoy buscando el exterminador. Okay, so uh, something about the exterminator of demons. You like you like the story about the uh, the exter the killer of demons? You mean my? Are you talking about Akuma? I don't know. Okay, look. Here's the power rankings. All right. I decided to start very simple here. Saitama for One Punch Man is probably the strongest character we could possibly come up with. Maybe there are stronger, but I think the concept of Saitama is that he is the strongest being. Like, that's the concept of him, right? One punch ends everything. I feel One like there are a few things that could overcome Saitama. Tooth! Thank you for the tier one. So yeah, you'll just have to- you'll just give me characters, and then we're gonna have to- I'll probably have to do research, because I don't know everything. Is there a- well, let's start off simple. Is there anything that would be stronger than Saitama from One Punch Man? I don't think Goku would be stronger than Saitama. I think Saitama would be Goku. He just needs one punch. I think the only thing that could defeat Saitama is maybe God. God. God could defeat Saitama, maybe. But, but really, though? Because Saitama, like, the whole... He, he just he would just have to punch God. It's really tough. But God created Saitama hypothetically. So if God were real, he would probably be above Saitama because he created Saitama. So he could just get rid of Saitama if he wanted to, right? He could just go snap, you're gone, right? I guess there are things that could defeat Saitama. Although Saitama can destroy things with one punch, he could be removed. He could be removed, right? If there is a being that can remove creatures, then he could be removed and therefore defeated. So I guess in that way, we have to put God at number one, defeating Saitama. I, I guess I can, I can live with that. True, and then you have Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. So I don't know a lot about Thanos. So, th you're gonna have to explain this one to me. So, cause I never watched the Avengers, cause I'm not a mega nerd, okay? Look, I have a life, and my life is just browsing other websites online, which is very important. Um, so he has a glove, and he has stones on, and he, when, he sna when he snaps, whatever he snaps at just stops existing, like it's, it turns to dust. Do you think Thanos could defeat Saitama? Never watched Family Guy nor Avengers? Yeah, that's me. Look, I know I'm crazy. Oh, yeah, we have to think about Light Yagami. Light Yagami could kill Saitama by writing his name in a book. The question is, though, I, I think if it were truly a one-on-one, -on -one, Saitama just has to punch Light, right? It wouldn't really be hard to punch Light, I think. The que like the question, I think the way we have to we have to set some ground rules, because this is kind of getting a little abstract. I think we're we're measuring them. Oh my God, I'm still cute. Thank you for the ten gift subs. Jesus, 
Thank you, thank you. We're getting so close to that breathing goal. I'm gonna breathe so hard at 41 subs. It's gonna be insane. Thank you. We have to set some ground. I think they need to be having a one-on-one. -on -one. They need to be no. They need to know that they're fighting each other to the death. They need to know that right at the beginning of the fight. And they're in like an arena, some sort of arena, like a coliseum or something. Maybe I should write that in the rules. We should write that in the rules. That way, we're, we're, we can't get rid of, that way, it gets rid of some of the bullshit of like, does Saitama know that Light is going to write his name in a book? Like, cause that would be, it's too complicated. So rules, characters are fighting. Oop, I spelled characters wrong. In a one on one to the death in an arena. That way the characters are, like, they know that they're fighting. So I think because of that, I think Saitama would punch. Yeah, my Twitch. I think he TV could punch. U-S-E-R-N-O-T-I-C-E, -E, hashtag Astrosist. What? Wait, wait, where did that come from? Oh, wait, what the hell? Wait, I'm still cute. Why what? did one of them have a, why does it say user notice? What is that? What is user notice? Did you gift a sub to somebody who's, like, banned or something? I, what just happened? I don't, okay, I don't know. Anyway. So Saitama, I think, could get to to uh, Light before he writes it in the in the book. So really, if we're talking about, let's put Light Yagami on here. I'm gonna start him off at A tier. I think he's pretty strong. He has a really really strong power, but the the problem is that if if they're on a one on one fight to the death, whatever is fighting Light just needs to get to him first before he writes their name. I mean, honestly, a lot. I think a lot of fights with Light Yagami would end in both of the characters dying. Because I think that Light would write the name before the character would get there. But then the character would kill Light and then the, the, the death note would still go off, right? And they would both die. So there's a lot of matches I think where Light would would die as well. So I'm gonna put him at A for now, but we're, we're gonna have to readjust a lot. Jamming out to XX right now, have a great stream. I have DSAHW Big L. Yo. Thank you, Space Lamp 6. DSA homework, okay. I respect it. Thank you, thank you. That's true, wait. Light Yagami's book only works on humans, doesn't it? Oh. I didn't think about that. I personally think I belong in S tier. Yeah, so that, that does look, he's not gonna be in S tier then because there's gonna be so many creatures that are just immune to Light Yagami. Because it has to be humans in the Death Note. Hell yeah, Space Lamp 6. Are we talking, are we taking plot armor into consideration? We're just taking the raw power. And I'm going to include like, what they have at their disposal. So like, we're not going to like, put them in there naked with no items. Like obviously Light Yagami gets access to his Death Note. I mean, that'd be stupid. Otherwise he'd just be a human. Sal Monkey, thank you for the 100 bits. Should we rank SpongeBob? So, this is interesting. Light Yagami is going to be in a weird place. Spongebob, I think, is technically stronger than Light Yagami. We have to think about that. This is gonna get weird, because Light Yagami is gonna be stronger than a lot of humans. Wow. So yeah, I think Spongebob goes above Light Yagami, because Light Yagami's death note wouldn't affect Spongebob, effectively making Light literally useless against Spongebob. L let's take Spongebob's strengths into consideration here. I think, you know, he's a sponge, so he's not a human, so a lot of, like, human characteristics that we talk about aren't going to apply to him. Like if you punch SpongeBob really hard, it probably wouldn't even hurt him. He's like a sponge. He's he's basically indestructible. I've seen him split into multiple pieces and then come back together. You know what I mean? He he's kind of he could take a lot of damage. Now, if we're talking about SpongeBob's raw strength, I think he's more of a defensive creature than an offensive creature because Quite literally, I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, like SpongeBob, his offensive abilities are not that great. He's, his arms are noodly. He's stronger than we think, but I'm actually reconsidering. I think Light Yagami could actually just beat up SpongeBob. But if, if, at that point, it's like a war of attrition. Like, <laughs> will Light like give up? Yeah, he's all defense, but no attack. I actually have to re-rank this. I think Light, I mean, he's like fairly athletic for his age, like he's good at sports and stuff. I think he could actually beat SpongeBob without the Death Note. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can rip SpongeBob in half. Yeah, that's true. I think he's actually he's he's actually lowering. I honestly, I think he's actually in the B tier now. Wow. That that went places. Why am I so hot? I don't know. I don't know. I, I trained for this. I did 100 push-ups every day. Now what? We need another character. Throw me a character and we'll rank him. That's how this goes. Steve from Minecraft. Okay, that's an interesting one. Steve from Minecraft has a limited HP bar, right? There's always a way to defeat him. Now, if we're taking all of the all of his abilities into effect here, he has a lot of things that could really um, keep him alive for a while. So he's kind of like a defensive character like SpongeBob. If we give Steve, let's say, a full inventory, at best, he could have a full inventory full of the shulker chests, which all have could have totems of an undying. Um, so that could keep him alive for a while. Like, he could win a war of attrition. He has many things up his disposal. A very sharp diamond sword with a lot of enchantments on it, or a bow. There's long-range capabilities there. I think he defeats a lot of characters here. Um, I, I would say that... Uh, in, a, in a fight against Light Yagami, Steve, I think Steve is technically a human. Can we say, I think we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to do our first research on this one. Is Steve from Minecraft a human? This is important. Okay, so this is from Notch. He writes that despite the main character being named Steve, the human model is intended to represent a human being. Okay, so Steve is a human being. So that's confirmed. So, Light Yagami could write Steve in his death note and Steve would die. That would be a very, it's basically like using slash kill in the game. That's very powerful. So I think honestly Light Yagami wins against Steve just cause that would be an instant death. That's like using slash kill or whatever. So I'm gonna put Steve from Minecraft right there at number two. Steve could respawn. Oh yeah, okay, that's true. Steve could respawn. Mm. Respawning makes this kind of tough. Because then he's virtually invincible. Wow, I didn't think about that. I think, okay. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to say. Steve is on hardcore mode. That's what we're going to say. Here's the thing. When Steve dies, like, okay, even if we don't say he's on hardcore mode, when he dies, he loses his items and they drop. And I think it, w what we say is if a character dies once, it's considered dead and they lose the match. That's what we'll say. So we'll add that to the rules. Because otherwise, respawning is going to come up a lot here because there's a lot of characters in video games that respawn. If a character dies, dies once, it would lose the duel. Okay, we're going to add that as a caveat. Otherwise, I like a lot of video game characters are just going to be all the way on the top because they're going to be literally they can never lose. There, that's a good that's a good way to put it. So even if he's playing on survival mode, um the real thing though, the real worry here is if what if he's playing on creative mode? <laughs> if Steve is playing on creative mode, there is actually pretty much no way to defeat him. He can't be hit. He can't he can't be hurt. So what we'll do is we'll do Steve from Minecraft survival mode. Survival slash hardcore. And then we're gonna have Steve creative mode I think is actually stronger than One Punch Man. But not stronger than God because God could just say that it doesn't exist and then it doesn't exist anymore. Wow, that, that was a good one. That one had my brain pumping. Okay, we need we need another one. We need another one. How about Tony the Tiger? Okay, Tony the Tiger. Does Tony the Tiger have any special abilities? It Tony the Tiger. What abilities does Tony the Tiger have? Okay, here we go. Tony the Tiger. Superhuman strength shown a lot of feats of strength tony is a boxer okay good to know super speed agility durability electricity manipulation what the, is this from wait oh this is from a fandom this is from a wikia 
This is from a wikia. We have to, we can't take wikias. We have to just read the Wikipedia page and kind of like base, base off of this. Wikipedia is official. That was fake lore. Okay, so he's a cartoon mascot. Just based off his physical appearance, he's very strong. Like very buff, obviously sentient, um, can communicate like with human language. So he's very intelligent um, for a tiger. So we have to take all this into account. I don't know if this is going to be quite A tier. I don't think he could defeat a Steve from Minecraft, but we're going to have to keep reading here. Okay, designed a tiger named Tony. Front of the box. I, so is Tony the Tiger actually a boxer? Tony the Tiger boxing. Let's look at this, see if we can see. Tony, oh, that's Tony Lopez, the boxer. That's not Tony Tiger. That's somebody else. That's, okay, so I see where they got that. They was a, a common mix up. So really, it's just kind of like a buff, anthropomorphic tiger, right? The original Tony the Tiger walked on all fours, so he had some evolution at some point in his life. There's some trademark controversy. Okay, so there's really no special powers that we can take into account. I, I honestly think that, that as it stands right now on our tier list, we're probably going to have to move him at some point. I think he... I think he's stronger than SpongeBob SquarePants. And the reason I say this is because there's the one episode of SpongeBob SquarePants where the gorilla rips SpongeBob in half. And that's like a pretty easy way to just dismantle SpongeBob. Um, I, I would say SpongeBob basically loses at that point. I think if he's ripped in half for a long, a long enough period of time, he just dies. So I would actually put Tony the Tiger higher. There are, are no discernible abilities that Tony the Tiger holds that would really hold him in any sort of special tier here though. I don't know, like he doesn't have like invincibility or like run super fast. We don't know about any of that. It's, it's not listed here on the Wikipedia, so. For all we know, he's just kind of like a buff tiger, like a, a buff charismatic tiger, um, which is stronger than SpongeBob. MC Ride. Okay, we have to be realistic here. We have to be realistic. Human, any human that you give me is not going to rank very high unless they are like very strong um, or very smart. Perhaps I would actually put MC Ride in D tier. Um, I, I think he would lose to Tony the Tiger, unfortunately. MC Ride, I think, has has an advantage on a lot of human beings um, because he has that animalistic quality to him. We know that he can get on stage and be very aggressive. Um, what we do know is that in real life, he's often very um, reserved, right? Independent, um, but he has that animalistic quality. I think if he, if he could, if he wanted to, he could really kick some ass in the human world. But when we start talking about fictional creatures, most of them are gonna defeat MC Red. So we have to put him in D tier. You have, to, you have to think about that. I, I gotta be realistic. It'd be funny, you know, to put Jerma at an S tier, right? But it makes no sense. You have to be realistic. Kanye West? Okay. Kanye West is another human. I think that MC Ride could defeat Kanye West. But that's a very, 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 very close matchup. I think MC Ride is just a little more like just aggressive like he would pull out all stops pull out all stops kanye would also be similar a little like a chaotic nature that would be scary in the ring but i think that he, kanye west is more of a lazy kind of uh not as uh, strong physically what next we need more lightning mcqueen okay that's a funny one lightning mcqueen is literally a car so I think that it could Lightning McQueen could defeat both SpongeBob and Tony the Tiger pretty easily. Um, he would just run them over. He would just run Tony the Tiger over. Like Tony the Tiger has no chance. He's not going to stop a fucking car. So I think because of that, he's stronger than <laughs> than Tony the Tiger and SpongeBob. He's obviously stronger than both humans on the list. He would just run over MC Ride. Um, interestingly, he's stronger than Light Yagami, um, which is kind of weird. Uh, yeah, he beats Light. He actually beats Light Yagami because Light Yagami can't kill him because he's a car. So, he's actually at the top of A tier currently. Lightning McQueen. So that's where you have to put him. I think he would defeat Steve from Minecraft too. I don't think Steve from Minecraft would be able to... Obviously, if he's on survival mode. Okay. Okay, I don't know anything about Psyche K. So I'm, I'm gonna ignore that one for now, maybe later when we're running out. That one will require a lot of research. Obama, I think Obama is our first F tier. Obama would not really last in a lot of fights. He's getting old. 
Maybe a, a Obama in his prime would do a little bit better against Kanye or MC Ride, but he is the weakest link here. I think Obama would lose to anybody on this list, unfortunately. He's like 50. He's getting old. He's like a big giraffe. John Cena. Okay. I think John Cena is our first C tier, actually. And he might move down to the D tier eventually. D and F tier will probably end up being human tiers, but um, John Cena could easily defeat all of the humans on this list. I'm actually starting to think that maybe he could defeat SpongeBob. Now that I think about it. Huh. Okay. I have to... <laughs> ah. Ah, sorry. I had to get that one out of me. I had a demon inside of me. Yeah, I think... Yeah, you know, I'm going to move SpongeBob SquarePants down, actually, to C tier. I think John Cena would defeat SpongeBob SquarePants. Again, I think he would just rip SpongeBob in half. Now, the question becomes, does John Cena defeat Tony the Tiger? It's very weird because physically they are both very similar. I think Tony the Tiger actually has an up here because of his sharp teeth. He's a lot, he's a tiger. I almost said he was a lion. He's a tiger, so he has sharp teeth. He could probably just rip John Cena apart with his, with his teeth and his claws. Um, and because he's so buff, he's as strong as John Cena with the added bonus of having sharp claws and teeth. Um, plus, you know, he's he's fast. He's agile. He's a tiger. Whereas John Cena is, he's getting up there in age. So I actually do think jo Tony the Tiger defeats John Cena here. Sans Undertale. Okay. Sans Undertale is an interesting one. I think that Sans Undertale has, he's very quick, right? I'm trying to analyze him from the game. Um, Sans Undertale, let's just get a picture of him for reference. I know a lot of people don't know what he looks like. So we can just get that up on the screen. Um, he... He has the skulls that appear next to him and shoot lasers, correct? Those are pretty strong. I honestly think that Sans could defeat almost anyone on this list from A tier or below. Um, I think he would defeat Light Yagami. He's not a human. And I think he would defeat Lightning McQueen. Sans did lose to a child, but it was due to charisma, right? And, and, and perseverance. Um, he has one HP, but he's kind of a troll. He's elusive. That's what you have to think about. He can move around quickly and he can shoot lasers. He's not very strong. If you have somebody that's super quick, just runs him right over. He, but he can teleport around, can he? He teleports, he, he throws bones up, he fucking shoots lasers. I think for that reason, he does defeat Lightning McQueen. Although I think it's actually a close matchup. Because Lightning McQueen could run him over, and if he does, Sans Undertale is going to die. But Lightning McQueen <laughs> is not going to be ready to face Sans Undertale teleporting around, boning up the course. I mean, if he, he could just take bones out of the ground in the arena, and Lightning McQueen would just get stuck, and he couldn't drive. He's fast. He's fast. And for that reason, I do have to um, put him at, at the top of A for right now. We'll see where this all shakes out. I mean, we have so many characters to rate, but... Yeah, I think he is at the top of A currently. Boning up the course. That's what he says when he gets added to Smash Brothers. Sans Undertale is boning up the course. Mewtwo. Okay, Mewtwo is a pretty good one, I think. Mewtwo, I think is fairly strong. Um, has psychic powers, was shown to, in the movie, destroy an entire, like, like a laboratory to escape. So he's stronger than any human. Um, he, he only lost due to, you know, Ash Ketchum basically persuading him to stop. But that's not gonna happen in a one-on-one -on -one to the death. If Mewtwo is determined, he will kill. So he's clearly going to kill anything from B or below. Tony the Tiger is not as strong as pretty much any Pokemon, I would say. Um, so Mewtwo has that above him for sure. He has psychic powers, he's not a, he's not a human. So I think he defeats Steve, he defeats Light, because Light can't use the Death Note on him. Um, I think he easily defeats Lightning McQueen. I mean, he's shown in the movie to use his psychic powers to pick up, like, Rhyhorn, which are obviously very, very heavy. I mean, can we get, like, a maybe a statistic here? Rhyhorn um, weight. What is the weight of Rhyhorn? So 254 pounds. Lightning McQueen weight. Do we have an official weight? Okay, let's just take like an average sports car. Let's take like a Corvette weight. Okay, so that's getting on the heavier side, but I think that Mewtwo could 
pick it up with his psychic powers. Um, so he would defeat Lightning McQueen. Not to mention, he could just fly above the car and it essentially proved Lightning McQueen useless, right? Um, and I think against Sans Undertale, he would defeat. He could just, he could psychic power the lasers and move them, stop them, put a force field around him. I mean, he has a literal fucking force field. Um, so yeah, I think he's in S tier. But I, I don't think he, I think he doesn't beat Saitama for one punch man. Um, I think Saitama has been shown to take, like, really big blows. Um, I think Saitama would just punch and kill Mewtwo. But he, Mewtwo very strong. It's gonna be hard to defeat. It's gonna be very hard to defeat. To defeat. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Um, I gotta think about this one. So Courage the Cowardly Dog, he's always, he has a knack for escaping, correct? He has a knack for escaping pretty much any um, obstacle that comes his way. Like, he never dies. He, he, so he's he's cunning. He's cunning. But at the end of the day, he's just a dog, right? He doesn't have any, like, special abilities. Courage the Cowardly Dog abilities. Now, this is from the fucking fandom. He doesn't... Okay. So he has powerful lungs, and he, he's a bit of a shapeshifter. Is this true? Is this true? Does he actually shapeshift? Courage the Cowardly... Cowardly dog shape shifting. Is this true? Courage turns into Godzilla. Okay. That that is actually pretty strong then. So he has like a little bit of it's not it doesn't seem like it's like literal shape shifting into anything that he wants to be. Jack, that's not funny. Money. Money. Thank you for the subscription. Appreciate it. If we get to 41, I'm gonna do a breathing. I'm gonna I'm gonna breathe on stream. It's gonna be amazing. Um Okay, so he can, he's Mecha Courage. Okay, kind of strong here. And we've, if we look here, he turns into a snake, turns into a dragon. Okay, so a bit of shape-shifting, but it doesn't seem like he could, he can't like turn into anything, but he can definitely, he has props. So that, that could prove useful, right? He could turn into a little like mini Godzilla. Um, I think for that reason, he could probably defeat John Cena. Um, because I think he would be able to kind of like turn into like a mini Godzilla and just like burn John Cena or like bite him. I don't know if he defeats Tony the Tiger. Um, I, I think that Tony the Tiger could, could outdo him. Um, just a very strong physical tiger. Whereas I think even if Courage the Cowley Dog turns into like, what is the worst here? The dragon? That's maybe the strongest ability. Um, this looks like kind of a weak dragon. I think Tony the Tiger could take that physically. So I'm gonna put Courage the Cowardly Dog in B tier. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Okay. Marvin Muscle Lunge. Or Marvel Marvin Muscle Lung E. Thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. You didn't even say anything. That's a very kind donation. All right. Who's next? Who's next? <clears throat> I gotta drink some water. Me? You want me to put- you want to put me on the list? You think- Josh Florga, I think the best. You think I should lower Spongebob? I'm starting to actually- I was actually considering that. Um, I do think that anyone could just rip Spongebob Squarepants. I- I honestly think that Spongebob could defeat Obama, though. So I'm- I'm gonna keep him above Obama. Obama's old. And I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna put myself in F tier. I don't think that I could defeat SpongeBob Square. Well, I can defeat SpongeBob SquarePants, and I could defeat Obama, but I do think MC Ride and Kanye West would just obliterate me in a one-on-one. -on -one. Obama is not in office anymore, so he cannot do any sort of you know war tactics. He he. This is Obama as it currently stands. We're not doing in the past. It's right now, present day. So Obama present day doesn't have that as, on his arsenal. He just doesn't have that, he, you know, he has guards, yeah. I guess Obama may, my, <laughs> we might have to include his guards, okay. And secret service guards. If that's the case, then yes. I actually do defeat, think he defeats MC Rod, because that's just, that's too many people. But I think John Cena could take them, potentially. Or do the secret service guards have weaponry? Well, now we have to do some, uh, a little bit of Googling. All. 
What do <laughs> this this gets me on a list? What do Secret Service agents Okay, do Secret Surge Service agents have guns? Agents undergo extensive firearms training to ensure firearm safety. Okay. They do carry a gun. Okay, they have guns? For this reason, this actually becomes Obama with his Secret Service guns actually becomes very strong. I think that, um, this is tough. I think that actually he becomes stronger than Light Yagami. I actually think he becomes stronger than Light Yagami. I, mm, it becomes, I think it's actually, mm. Right, because Light doesn't know the guards' names. And he would have to negotiate that. And it's a fight to the death. And so, I just think that Light just would not be able to write the names. I think he could defeat Obama. But he's gonna die as well. And so, it really, it's not a win. They both lose. It's a tie. It's actually a tie. If Light kills just Obama, does he win? Yeah, but he has to he has to literally dodge bullets. He has to dodge it, that's not happening. Marvin Muscle, thank you. I meant to write message, but I'm a mo mobile user. You should rank Jeff Bezos. Okay, Jeff Bezos. Um This is an interesting one. Jeff Bezos on his own I doesn't really have any abilities, right? That we know of. He may have ingested um human meat and gained some sort of secret superpower that we're unaware of. But honestly, Jeff Bezos is just kind of a wimpy, nerdy, creepy human. And he's old and like n kind of not that impressive. Um, I think that he could probably defeat me just because I'm a scrawny piece of shit. But that I, I think that he's not very strong. I think Kanye West could beat the shit out of him. We can't just assume that he has an Amazon Gundam mech suit, okay? We You can make hypotheticals, but we have to be official about this. He has a very sharp credit card. He's old. He would lose many fights. Give myself the shredder. <laughs> Put Jeff Bezos in the shredder, in the paper shredder. Okay. Scribblenauts Maxwell. That's actually a really good character. Scribblenauts... Maxwell. So this is actually interesting because he has the pen and paper ability, which allows him to essentially create anything into reality. Um, that is very, very strong. Now, against a creature that is very fast, I think Scribblenauts would have a hard time defeating it. So something I'm thinking about, like I think I'm, I think he's stronger than anyone here except. Well, he's stronger than Lightning McQueen, I think. Um, I think that, that he could just, like, summon, like, you know, another car or, like, barricades to just stop the car from hurting him. He could also give himself a jetpack, right? He could fly. Um, he could give himself anything, really. Like, I, I, we have to think about the confines of the game, though. So it's not literally anything, but I'm assuming he can give himself, like, a force field. Can you spawn a force field in Scribble Knots? Yep, okay, so he can create a force field. So he could essentially stop himself from Sans Undertale as well. And then he could just summon a nuke. Um, he's very, very strong, actually. So immediately, right in the beginning of the fight, he summons a force field. And then he summons a nuke. Um, he can make himself invincible. There you go, right? Just adding the adjective invincible. So that's very, very strong. Um, I, I think we're actually getting up to higher than Saitama levels of strength here. I, I, it's really, it starts to get kind of weird when you're comparing him to another invincible creature. Steve from Minecraft in creative mode is invincible. So that's two invincible creatures fighting. What do you do? Um, I think at that point we could say, could Scribble not to delete Steve from Minecraft? Cause couldn't, Steve can die from the void. That's true. Creative Minecraft Steve can die from the void. Can you spawn the void in Scribble Nuts? I don't know. It doesn't look like you can spawn the void. But I think that 
basically, Scribblenauts guy, Scribblenauts Maxwell could just, yeah, he could give the adjective dead to Steve. And Steve would lose. This is an insanely powerful creature. Um, Scribblenauts, we're going to have to put Maxwell from Scribblenauts at number two. Stronger than everything but God. Um, the, the, I mean, the possibilities are insane. So, only God could defeat it. He could do it to a god, but I think god is like our ultimate being here that can just snap anything out. Like, it could just say this doesn't exist anymore. God created all, right, hypothetically. So, it could just say, well, I actually didn't create this. And then Maxwell is over. Um, Maxwell does, he is behind typing speed. You have to type it. Uh, which takes a second, right? So, he's not completely invincible. If, if he's going against another creature that has the ability to create anything, they're gonna be, they might be faster than him. That's the one thing setting him back from God, is he has to type it out. By the time Maxwell types dead as an adjective for God, God just says he doesn't exist. <clears throat> no, unfortunately, we had to add the caveat, Maple, that Obama has Secret Service guards innately. And so... The Secret Service guards would just shoot MC Ride. That's the that's the reason that MC Ride would lose to Obama. Um, okay. Shinji in Eva One. Shinji in Eva One. Okay, let's think about that. Eva One is obviously not an invincible thing. Um, I think he actually loses this is a weird one. He actually loses to Light Yagami, I think. Potentially. Hmm. Hmm. Or does he? I'm gonna say he's stronger than Steve from Minecraft. Anything down here, he can just easily destroy with the mech. The The question is, can Light Yagami... Because I don't think that Shinji would, would have... He's very... He's very depressed, right? And he doesn't... I don't think he wants to kill humans. I think he would honestly back out of the match. He wouldn't want to kill Light Yagami. Um, and because he's not, he's like a human, he might sympathize and Light honestly might be able to like, you know, talk to Shinji and be like, Hey, what's your name, man? And Shinji would be like, Oh, I'm Shinji Ikari. And then he would just write it down and Shinji would die. And if the human dies in the Eva suit, then it's over. Um, the thing is though, I think Shinji could defeat Obama and his secret service guards. So maybe we actually move Light Yagami above Obama. This is starting to get very weird because like Lightning McQueen can destroy Light Yagami, but I think that Shinji in the Eva mech can actually destroy Lightning McQueen pretty easily. This is starting to get kind of tough. Light Yagami has this weird sort of power that he's stronger than some things, but not stronger than others. It's, it's a non-linear list. I think we actually have to put Shinji in the Eva suit as stronger than Lightning McQueen. Shinji Ikari piloting put this piloting Eva zero is it zero one? Yeah, okay. Just making sure. I think that, that would defeat Lightning McQueen. For sure. But I think Sans could evade him. I think Sans could evade him. Stop trying to number them. Fair enough, actually, because like they they already have a hierarchy naturally. I will stop trying to hire them. That actually does just complicate things. All right, we need another character. Getting rid of these epic numbers. This is starting to get really complex. This is the best idea I've ever had. Imposter from Among Us. Okay, we can do that one. So, Imposter from Among Us is honestly very easy to defeat, I think. He he, he has some... Uh, we're not going to take into like the account the how the game works, because you're, you're in a voting... So you, there's not going to be any voting out going on in the arena, okay? But if we're just taking his offensive abilities, um, he... How do I put this? He He's strong, but he... 
Like his his abilities are pretty simple. Like he can stab, right? He can kind of like eat things. Um, <laughs> he's not that strong. I honestly think he can one shot in the game, but that's against other non imposters. That is basically against humans. Honestly, they're just humans in suits. Um, so he's kind of like an alien. I think that he could defeat Tony the Tiger. I don't think that he could defeat Steve from Minecraft. I think he's at the top of B. Among Us Imposter. I should rank Joseph Joestar. Okay, I'd have to research a lot for that. Thank you, Marvin, for the bits. I don't know a lot about Joseph Joestar. Joseph Joestar abilities. We're gonna have to read about this. Okay, Joseph Joestar is a natural born Ripple user and eventual stand user. That means almost nothing to me. Wielding the psychic photographic stand, Hermit Purple. Okay, we're gonna have to read about Hermit Purple here. Okay, Hermit Purple. It's a stand of Joseph Joestar. Hermit Purple manifests itself as multiple purple thorn covered vines that spawn from Joseph's hands. The vines are strong enough to support his own weight and long enough to bind someone completely. Okay. Hermit Purple's vines are relatively weak. They provide Joseph with considerable divination ability, enabling him to divine and materialize any type of information, such as an image, a location, or even thoughts. Holy shit. Joseph demonstrated that he can use the vines as rope, whose movements he can control at will. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. The vines are dexterous enough to manipulate a video game controller. So they're essentially like multiple hands. So it's like multiple hands. Further, Joseph, on at least one occasion, used Herbert Purple to create a purple aura around him in order to prank Jotaro. Okay, so he has pranking ability. Um, divination. He can divine information by using any object or material in conjunction with Hermit Purple. Joseph Joestar can display any information he wishes to see. Not very strong in a fight, honestly. Um, Lightwood w wishes he had this ability. So you can kind of like conjure um, thoughts and, and, and imagery and information. The ability is effectively closer to just blah, blah, blah. The ability to is an extension of his body. He's attacked Dio to prevent him from touching him by wrapping himself in it. Okay. So kind of like an attack that can also wrap around somebody and make it so they can't move. So a, a strong attack, but not incredibly invincible. There must be something else going on here. Is that it? I mean, I assume he's strong physically. Abilities. Okay, Ripple. Astro Cat. Thank you, Barry, for the tier three. Jesus. Thank you, Barry. Astro Cat, the only person who can use it. Okay. Um, to confuse his foes. American Clackers. He invented a fighting style that involved using the Ripple. The pair of normal American clackers, once infused, the clackers become a lethal weapon as the user is able to rip through an opponent's skin using them, and from there, the ripple can enter the body, thus inflicting massive damage. He can maneuver these around his body and even make them disappear behind his back. Clacker volley allows him to chuck the clackers in an opponent's direction. Wow, and that could rip through their skin. That's a pretty strong move there. Okay. This is really, really strong. He used Ripple to pop the cap off of a Coca-Cola bottle. He used a Tommy gun. I, we're not gonna, does he always have the Tommy gun with him? I think, okay, this is a pretty strong character. Um, he is a human, correct? I think for that reason, I don't know. I think he could kill Light before Light would have the ability to write in the Death Note. Honestly, I think the agility is probably there. He's probably faster. Um, I think he could obviously defeat Obama and the Secret Service guards. It's. I mean, he could just like throw the clackers um, and use the vines to protect himself, or you know, disable the guards. Um, I think he could probably cut through Lightning McQueen, perhaps, or even I don't know, clacker through Lightning McQueen. Uh, I think he loses to the to the Eva Mech though. I think he loses to Eva Mech. Honestly, I don't know if he's gonna be able to defeat a giant Mech. I mean, those Mechs are like 
the size of a skyscraper. You know what I mean? Like they can destroy. It's fast too. It's like as fast as a human. No, I, I don't think he beats Sans. I think Sans is too quick. I think Sans is too quick. I think Sans is too quick. Power tier of the entire United States military? Oh my god, okay. How many people are in the United States military? Okay, 1.3 active duty military. How many um, nukes does the US have? 5,800 nuclear warheads. Um, yeah, so that's going to be pretty hard for most of these characters to defeat. I think that Maxwell from Scribblenauts could figure out a way to deal with this. Obviously, he has a force field, so I think he could out outlast it. If you go for the nuke, then you lose as well. So I think Maxwell wins in that fight. I think Creative Mode Steve can't die from a nuke. Um, Saitama for one punch man, I think could punch through those things. I think I think he could punch through those things. Um it just put like punch them away almost, you know what I mean? Mewtwo I don't think is going to defeat that bit. Like he was able to defeat like maybe small militarized um vehicles in the movie, but I mean 5800 nukes, he has a force field I guess, but I think at some point like that force field's going to wear out. Uh that's a lot of nukes. There's a lot of, they have a lot of tanks, planes, um, it's gonna be hard to fit it into that arena. They're gonna have to make a really big arena, but I think that the entire United States military actually does defeat Mewtwo on this one. So, all right. We, we need more, we need more. True, creative, uh, creative mode Steve could place Bedrock as well. That would, it could protect everybody, yeah. Arceus. Oh, okay. Arceus is a weird one. Because it's basically God, right? Arceus. Okay, we're going to have to read up on Arceus here. Arceus is a normal type mythical Pokemon. Blah, blah, blah. Arceus is known as the original one. It is said that it created Sinnoh and Ransay and possibly the entire Pokemon universe. So that's a caveat you have to think about. He didn't create the universe, he created the Pokemon universe. So he's strong, but he's not technically like real God. He's like the God of Pokemon. So we're combining multiple universes here. He's not really the God of everything. He's just the God of Pokemon. Let's continue here. Biology is a white, or no, <laughs> Arceus is a white equin. I don't know how exactly to say it, equin. I know it has to do with horses. Resembling a centaur with a gray vertically stretched. Okay, this is like all just what he looks like. Um, oh, look at him. He's powerful there. Arceus appears as a Pokeball summon where it uses gravity to produce a shockwave that brings opponents downwards. Very strong. This thing would be very strong. It has protect. Um, a legendary Pokemon with a, it has a lot of uh, strength. I mean, really high stats. Um, it created the world and the sky. I think that Arceus would be very, very strong. Um, I think that Maxwell from Scribblenauts could could maybe defeat him. Um, I I don't know about this for sure, but like, has Ar Arceus is the god of Pokemon? I don't know if he has the same hypothetical abilities as God, like actual God from the Bible. Um. For that reason, we don't. There's not a lot of documentation about what Arceus can really do, so it's kind of an oddball. God of Pokemon can mean a lot of things. Um, however, if we're just analyzing it as a Pokemon, it's very, very strong. It would defeat Mewtwo. I think it would defeat the entire United States military. Um, it can die in the game, though. It has a health bar. Um, it can only protect for just a short period of time. You can capture it in a Pokeball. I think I just have to put Arceus above Mewtwo, but I think that maybe actually the United the United States military could defeat it. It can only protect for so long. Arceus can oh hold on. Arceus can create Pokemon. He can make an entire army of Pokemon. That is actually extremely true. 
we might have to maybe bump him above the United States military for that reason. He could essentially create like an infinite number of Pokemon that can use Protect, and all of those Pokemon using Protect would protect from all of the missiles, nukes from the military. So that that's a good... Th thank you for bringing that up, actually. Thank you for bringing that up. That's a really good point. What about Gordon Ramsay? Okay, Gordon Ramsay's gonna rank pretty low on this list, I'm gonna be honest. I think that Gordon Ramsay could defeat Jeff Bezos. He could defeat me. He could defeat SpongeBob SquarePants. Um... I don't know where he would stand in a fight against Kanye or MC Ride. Um, how tall is Gordon Ramsay? He's 6'2". How tall is MC Ride? No one really knows, but he's not that tall. Um, I'd guess like 5'10". How tall is Kanye West? Okay, so he's 5'8". I think Gordon Ramsay could maybe defeat Kanye West. I'm trying to think. I think maybe he could defeat MC Ride. Gordon Ramsay, wait. Okay, pretty strong. Pretty strong. Yeah. I'm gonna have to say, because MC Ride's getting old too. I think that Gordon Ramsay is stronger than MC Ride. I think that he's above MC Ride. I don't think he could defeat John Cena, though. He runs the Iron Man once a year? Yeah, so he's pretty fit. I don't know if you could say MC Ride is that fit. But because of age, Gordon Ramsay does get lowered. Like, he's obviously not going to defeat John Cena, but he's going to defeat a lot of humans. Many humans are going to lose to Gordon Ramsay's hands. All right. No, strength is not measured by height, but height has a, I think has a, you, you have a bit of an advantage if you're tall. In most scenarios. Patrick Mahomes, okay, the quarterback of the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes. I honestly don't think Patrick Mahomes has that impressive of a physique. He's not even really that tall. He's okay. Well, actually, he's taller than I thought. He's six three. I did not. Okay, I did not expect. That. I thought he was like six foot. Holy shit, he's actually really tall. What the hell? Um, Patrick Mahomes is the the quarterback of the Kansas City Chiefs. He has a Super Bowl ring. Um, I do think he's like a little. He's like kind of chubby. He's not as like physically like fit as a lot of other players in the NFL. I think that. Because he's young and and spry, I think he could defeat Gordon Ramsay. But it's a close matchup. I honestly think it's a close matchup. Just below John John Cena. The baby car? Okay, let's take a look at the baby car. Take a look at that. All right. Um, the baby car. So it's a car, and I think that it could very easily run over a lot of just like human characters um, and just destroy it that way. We also can kind of maybe, I don't know. It, I think it kind of has like an attack on Titan vibe to it where I think it could open up its mouth and like chomp shit. So imagine like, you know, basically a human head driving to you at 80 miles per hour and like, it's gonna chomp on you. Like that's pretty terrifying. Um, if it does crash, it is going to be very vulnerable. But if it can get that hit in, it, it's it's pretty strong. However, like many people in chat are saying, it is made of flesh. So I think guns would defeat it. So I think that Obama and his Secret Service guards actually do defeat the baby convertible. Um, but I do think that it could... I actually think maybe Steve from Minecraft would defeat it as well. He could kind of ender pearl around, dodging it. Um, and w would be able to eventually do damage to it because it's just flesh. It's terrifying, but I think that it is actually at the top of B tier. It would defeat the Among Us imposter, but I think Minecraft, Steve from Minecraft in survival mode would, like all like geared up and stuff, would defeat him. True, Steve could just build up. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Steve could build up. In fact, 
I'm starting to think Steve from Minecraft can move up a little bit. Um, do we really think a bullet would would kill Steve from Minecraft? I mean, we can start taking in like Minecraft mods into into effect. Like Minecraft mods, usually the guns don't auto kill, especially with high armor. I actually think Steve from Minecraft should move up a little bit here. Light Yagami can't. Well, Light Yagami can kill him. That's right. But I think he could. Ooh. I'm gonna put him above Obama for now. I think that's where I'm gonna put him. That's where I'm comfortable. Steve is moving up. Steve is moving up. Okay. Man, we are making a, a huge a huge list here. This is this is getting crazy. Where would Karl Marx go? Okay. Karl Marx, I think, is going to lose most battles, unfortunately. Um This guy is very old. Doesn't exactly see, like, you know, people back then weren't like Weren't like not fit, but they weren't exactly as healthy as we are nowadays. Potentially? I don't know. Kind of analyze the physique here. Oh, he seems short. Was he short? Karl Marx height. He was 5'9. Was Karl Marx strong? Was Karl Marx jacked? Did Karl Marx work out? Karl Marx works as a journalist. Did oh, did Karl Marx ever work? That's not what I want to know. That's like a gotcha. It's like, a, well, did he work? Um, it doesn't, from just analyzing his physique, I really think that most people could probably defeat him. I will put him above me, but I think that actually, unfor I hate to say this, but I think Jeff Bezos could probably beat the shit out of Karl Marx. As much as I, you know, want to root for the guy, he's he's old. He's doesn't really seem that fit. Doesn't seem like, you know, not fit, but just kind of average. Jeff Bezos actually has some muscles on him. You think I could beat the shit out of Karl Marx? Maybe. Maybe. We'd have to think about it. Marge Simpson. Okay. Marge Simpson. This is uh, quite an inappropriate picture. Um, oh, okay. So does she really have any characteristics that make her particularly strong? Like, I'm trying to think, like, like, Marge Simpson, okay, well, let's get this out of the way. Are Simpsons humans? First of all, the Simpsons are absolutely not human. Why, you say? Well, it's obvious they are not anatomically human, not even remotely. We know in one episode, the Abrahamic God appears in Homer's dream, and he has four fingers, as do human beings. The, the line that separates their skin from their hair points. The is shoes yellow. It's kind of skin, kind of hair. So the yellow, the, the, their skin is hair. So they're not humans. So Light Yagami is actually completely pointless against Marge Simpson. Like can't even really do anything about her. Um, he can't use the death note on her. So... Oh, it said Reddit, that was a fan theory? Oh, shit. That was a fan theory. Fuck. Are Simpsons humans canonically? Hmm. There's nothing about it, I think. There's nothing about it. So, okay. I think even if she isn't a human... I think that Light could take her physically. She's not necessarily very strong, right? I mean, we can look at her physique. She's she's not, like, you know, in a bad position necessarily, but she doesn't have, like, huge muscles, kind of like noodle arms. She was a cop. Marge was a cop. Okay, so she has some training then. She has training. I think she would lose to Tony the Tiger. Um, she doesn't innately have a gun. So... I think that we have to put her here. 
I think that Tony the Tiger would beat the shit out of her. Like, just claw her to death. Like, just actually just maul her. Um, and Courage, I think she could beat up a dog. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, she might... I don't know if she would beat John Cena. Maybe we have to put Courage the Cowardly Dog below John Cena. And then... Marge Simpson... I honestly, I, yeah, I think she actually does lose to John Cena. She's not that strong. I mean, cause she's got some like cop background. So she has maybe some combat basics, but like John Cena knows his way in a fight. He's ripped, he knows. Now maybe John Cena in 20, 30 years, Marge might have a chance, but unfortunately that's how, that's how the, that's how it's gonna go. I have to piss so bad. So just give me like a minute while I go pee. I'm back. What the fuck, Barry? Barry! Barry! Why do you do this when I'm not- <laughs> When I'm not- when I'm not here? Lego? Lego Yoda in S tier or I get angry. <sighs> Barry, I- I hate to break it to you. Lego Yoda is not an S tier. I know you just gave me 5,000 bits, and maybe I should, um, like, bend the knee here, but Lego Yoda from the Star Wars video game is which, what I assume we're comparing him in. Obviously not, like, literally Lego Yoda. They have, they have, they have health, and they can, they, like, if they, yeah, like, if they fall, they take fall damage and, like, die. Um, he has, like, what, like, three hearts or something? Like, if he gets hit by enough blasters, like, it's over. Now, granted, he's strong. Don't get me wrong. He is strong. He can block shots. So I think, like, he beats Obama and his Secret Service guards because he can just block the shots with his lightsaber. Um, he's very agile. He can block while he's, like, flipping and shit. He's very fast. Um, he's not a human, so he defeats Light Yagami. I think he could easily, like, uh, out agility Lightning McQueen and just, like, slash it to bits with a lightsaber. I mean, lightsabers are very strong. Um... He can use the force as well. So he, honestly, I, I think he's stronger than Sans Undertale even because he can like just uh, out agility him and use the force and shit. That is the, that is where it starts to become hard to, like he's stronger than Shinji Ikari in the Evo one. I, I think that he could, 
like maneuver around it. I think he has the, a strong enough force power because he's one of the strong stronger force powers in the in the show or in the movie, right? I think he could actually push back Eva One. Um, but he when it starts to get to Sans, they're actually pretty even. The kid only beat Sans because the main character of Undertale is actually very strong. Um, but yeah, like. I think he is stronger than Sans. I think he's stronger than Sans. It would be a close battle, but I think he's stronger than Sans. Once it starts getting to Mewtwo, though, it's kind of good. I think the reason he loses to Mewtwo is because Mewtwo has a force field. Mewtwo's force field could block from the lightsaber. So I I'm going to put Lego Yoda below Mewtwo. That's my honest ranking. I think he beats Sans just barely, and it's only because Sans just has one health. So Yoda just has to get one hit in there. You know, like a lightsaber throw. Sans isn't expecting it. Yoda can block shots, so he can block the lasers that Sans throws at him. So yeah, I mean, after analyzing it, he is in the S tier. You're actually right, Barry. You're actually right. <laughs> I thought he was going to say, what? What F man? <laughs> Okay. How is the US military S tier? Didn't they lose a 1v1 with Vietnam? Yeah, isn't it funny how wrecked they got? No, it's because we're we're assuming that they're using the entirety of their of their military in this duel. Which would be very strong, you have to admit. US military did, didn't use everything that they could have. Lego Yoda just got paid into S tier. Yeah, if you give me 5,000 bets, I'll move your favorite character into S tier. I'm kidding. I'm joking. Morty? Okay, Morty from Rick and Morty. Uh, does Morty have any strong power? Morty from Rick and Morty ab abilities. Despite his malleable nature, Morty has the strength to be able to stand up to Rick. Uh, what? Like, stand up to him, like, emotionally? Okay. Um, yeah, this is actually a very weak character. This is like one, like, I think I could beat the shit out of Morty. I actually honestly think that Morty would lose to SpongeBob. That's how weak this character is. I actually think SpongeBob could beat the fuck out of Morty. I don't think Morty could, could literally, like, even lay a finger on SpongeBob. Kirby. Okay, Kirby is a good character. Kirby. So Kirby is... Google wants to know your location. Yeah, no thanks. Kirby Nintendo. Oh, he's already showing on the screen. Okay, why does this say cute? And then it's like a picture of Kirby with legs. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, so Kirby's very, very strong. Um, Kirby can suck up just about anything. Um, and, and just turn it to dust, right? Kirby is... Kirby has a limited health bar, so like things can defeat it, but the sucking power is very strong. If you're not strong enough to stop that sucking, um, it's gonna suck you up, take your power, and you're dead. So like, oh, Kirby Lorewise is literally a god? Really? Is Kirby a god? Super Smash Brothers Spirits Mode confirms Kirby is an actual god. Thankfully, he only demands tributes of sandwiches and tomatoes. He's one, in, according to the game lore, he's one of several reincarnations of a chaotic, neutral god of destruction, whose alignments are dictated by the environment in which they are born. So, if he wanted to, he could actually, like, destroy everything. I mean, that makes him extremely strong. He's a, he's a destruction god. So he's not necessarily like a god, like like god god, but he can destroy like anything. That puts him above Arceus at least. Do we say he defeats Saitama? That's where I'm I'm it's it, it's either above or below Saitama. Kirby defeats Saitama? Is Kirby immortal? So Kirby's not immortal. 
So not truly immortal. Just has destructive godlike powers. Yeah, I mean... He can suck in all the punches. Okay. We'll put Kirby above Saitama. I'm gonna take your word for it. I mean, I, I honestly think Kirby versus Saitama is a fight I, I, it's a fight I want to see. That's a fight I want to see. I don't think Kirby defeats Minecraft, though. Creative mode. Or does it, actually? Because maybe Kirby could just suck up Steve from Minecraft in creative mode. He can just suck Steve. Fuck, I... I don't know. Whatever gets sucked up in there just dies. And then and then Kirby gains the creative mode powers, which at worst makes it a tie. He cannot defeat God. God God would just say Kirby doesn't exist. I honestly, he might defeat creative mode Steve. Would he defeat Maxwell from Scribble Knots? I think Scribblenauts Maxwell defeats Kirby. The reason being here is Maxwell can just write dead. He can just make Kirby dead. He can give Kirby the adjective dead, and then Kirby is dead. So, like, I think Maxwell actually defeats it. Because Kirby's suck is a powerful move, but it is a little slow. Things can get away from it. In fact, I'm starting to think that maybe Saitama could defeat Kirby. I think that Saitama could avoid the suck and then just punch Kirby. I, I'm actually, I'm sorry, but I have to, I have to rank Kirby lower than Saitama. I hate to do it, but I think, I think Saitama can overcome the suck. Cause look, the suck is powerful. Once it gets something in there, I mean, it's over, right? But I think Saitama could outrun the suck and just punch Kirby. Or like punch it while it's inside Kirby's mouth before Kirby fully sucks up Saitama. But I, I think Kirby is very strong. I, I'm putting Kirby there. I'm pretty confident with that. I'm pretty, I, I think Saitama could overcome the suck. <sighs> Lola Bunny? Okay. Um, does Lola Bunny have any powers? Okay. Humana, humana, humana. <laughs> Don't ever call me doll. Lola Bunny is the second protagonist. She's an updated version of Honey Bunny. She's only three foot tall, really. Um, she's good at basketball. Um, I'm not really seeing anything here that really says that Lola Bunny is that strong physically. Power skills, good at basketball, tracking skills, so kind of like hunting in a way. So very fast at at tracking, uh, physical strength, but I'm not really impressed, honestly. Um, hobby at playing sports, being with Bugs Bunny. I, I think that, that honestly Lola Bunny versus Marge Simpson is probably the closest that we can get. Um, I think that Lola Bunny would probably lose to Marge Simpson. I could see Marge Simpson, because Marge Simpson, I think, has more combat training, would defeat Lola Bunny. Um, well, look, you have to understand, Marge Simpson, we learned that Marge Simpson was a cop. So she has legitimate combat training. Um, Birds the Cowardly Dog can shapeshift into a dragon. So, I think that that defeats Lola Bunny? Can she defeat Patrick Mahomes, though? I mean, analyzing, like, just physique here? I don't think so. She's physically fit, but Patrick Mahomes is, has more muscle. 
Um, Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay's old. Gordon Ramsay, honestly, he might lose to Lola Bunny. I think I have to put Lola Bunny above Gordon Ramsay. I think that she would have the agility and like the, the athleticism to overcome. Yeah, but she is also three feet tall. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. She's really weak, actually. She's honestly pretty weak. I think we have to put her just above Karl Marx. Karl Marx is an old man. I think he would lose to Lola Bunny, but... I think Jeff Bezos, honestly, would just kick her around, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, she just doesn't make it very high on the list. Hate to say it. Hate to break it to you, chat. I know people are going to be sad about this one. There's a lot of people that love Lola Bunny. I mean, we saw an outrage online for like two weeks. So it wouldn't stop. Carl Weezer. All right. Carl Weezer. Carl Weezer abilities. Let's see if we can get anything here. He's known as nervous, timid, and suffering. <laughs> He's known as suffering? <laughs> that's, that's, his, that's, his, that's his trait? Suffering? <laughs> At times, he tries to overcome these personality traits in order to appear cooler around Jimmy and mutual friend Sheen. Even though he has a sensitive scapula and spine, he has many talents. The most recognizable is his extraordinary singing ability. I, I don't think that Carl Weezer is going to put much of a fight, put up much of a fight. I'm going to be honest. I can't, he can't even defeat himself. That's true. That's very, that's very, those are very strong words. Um... This guy just kick, gets kicked around. He's like a big balloon. He's above Morty. Um, I think, honestly, SpongeBob could defeat him. When now, I think Carl... Uh, actually, need to look at the physique. Analyze <laughs> some... <laughs> I, I, I analyze some of the physique here. analyzing the physique yeah wimpy arms um less less aerodynamic than spongebob i think and the arms are about the same size i think spongebob defeats carl weezer unfortunately but it, it's kind of it's kind of just not fair i don't think that carl weezer should be put in the ring honestly i i feel bad for him i mean look at him i feel bad for this guy he doesn't deserve this he needs help he needs counseling therapy he doesn't need a fight Yeah, he needs therapy, not a death battle. <laughs> Rank the main cast of the 2002 live-action Scooby-Doo film. Okay, I'm not going to do all of them. How about just, like, Scooby-Doo? I've seen a lot of Scooby-Doo. So, Scooby-Doo is pretty strong, right? Um, like, he can get, like, really ripped. Scooby-Doo abilities. Um, doing a scrappy would get him on his hind legs a lot. So, he gets on his hind legs. He's kind of strong, has some strong punches, I think. Um, he can morph his body to mimic any and all monsters he has encountered, along with some humans, too. So he's actually like a shapeshifter. Um, when he was a puppy, Scoopy Snacks would make him blast off like a rocket. Holy shit. Scooby-Doo rocket. Does he actually turn into a rocket? Scooby-Doo... After eating Scoopy Snacks. So, he would get really strong after eating Scoopy Snacks. Incredible sense of smell. He can use the tail. Oh, it's a prehensile tail. So, he can use it to swing. So, he's very agile, very strong. This is a pretty strong character. Um, especially with the shape shifting. And, and physically stronger than Courage. Courage, we, uh, Courage's shape-shifting ability was honestly kind of lackluster. The way we observed it, he was just kind of, like, wimpily shape-shifting into creatures, but not, like, fully, like, kind of, like, weak versions of things. Um, the, the best one we could find was he, he shape-shifted into, a, like, a weak dragon, kind of like a wimpy dragon. Um, the fact that Scooby-Doo could shape-shift into a monster, I mean, he could shape-shift into, like, some kind of crazy, like, really strong right. monster. Um... Bingo, but slow. Think of it as tier one. Six months in a row. I think that uh, Scooby-Doo is around Tony the Tiger in terms of levels of strength here.
But I don't know. I think if he shapeshifts into a creature that could defeat Tony the Tiger, Scoopy Doo shapeshifting. Is this Scooby Doo? Are these all Scooby Doo? Is this shape shifting thing made up? Is this even real? Those, these are. This is Scooby Doo, right here. That's not Scooby Doo. None of these are Scooby Doo. I think this shape shifting thing might be a little far fetched. Great sense of balance. He can mimic them, but maybe it's not like full on shape shift. It's like he can kind of like mimic them physically, which means he's pretty strong, right? Like I think that is stronger than Tony the Tiger. I think he could be strong enough to kind of like stop the baby convertible in his tracks and like throw him, um, or even just bite through. Um. Can Scooby-Doo withstand a bullet? I don't know if he could withstand a bullet. I think for that reason, I think we have to put Scooby-Doo below Obama and his Secret Service guards. But that's a strong character. Okay. What the fuck? I missed a stream notification. This is literally the best thing ever. I can't believe it. <laughs> Thank you. I had this idea at like 3 a.m. last night. Well, I don't innately have a gun. Obama and his Secret Service guards innately have a gun in the arena. If you added me, I, I, I don't carry a gun. So like, it's just going to be me. If I had a gun, I could maybe defeat a lot of these creatures. But then we're saying that all the other creatures could have guns too. That makes it a little fucked up. Heavy from TF2? Okay. Heavy TF2 abilities. I've never played TF2, so I have to look at this. So I know he has like a giant... Yeah, he has like a giant like turret machine gun, which is like very strong. Um, he's not agile, but like if, if we're starting like, you know, we're starting in an arena, the characters are at either side of the arena, he's just gonna hold down left click, right? And like shoot bullets, like... It's gonna be pretty strong. Um... I think that uh, just that alone, just the weapon, like, is stronger than most things here. Um, I don't think it's stronger than Sans Undertale, and I don't think it's stronger than Eva 1. It's probably above Joseph Joestar, but I need to know his abilities. I need to know what abilities he has in the game. Lots of health. Basic strategy, hold mouse 2 to keep your minigun spinning, ready for approaching enemies. Hit E to call for a medic if you get hurt. That's not really going to apply in a, in a 1v1. And he does run out of ammo. That's the thing. Like, if, if he runs out of that's why I don't think he would be evil 1. He would run out of ammo. Joseph Joestar has defeated guns before? Really? Okay, we can put him below Joseph Joestar. Does he have any other abilities in the game? Like, kind of like Overwatch? Oh, he has a shotgun. Okay. He can eat a sandwich. Oh, so he can eat food. He has melee. Does he have sort of like, a, like you press E and he does something? Taunt attack. With a flick of the wrist, the heavy mimics a quick draw pistol showdown and shouts before blowing out the imaginary smoke from the barrel. Um, that doesn't seem very strong. It's just like a, is that like a, that's like an emote? Yeah, I think that we're just going to have to take him, like, as a big dude with a big gun. So, I, I do think that he could defeat a lot of things on this list, but I think that it kills people instantly? Wait, what? Wait, the taunt attack is an instant kill? Are you serious? Really? It's slow, though, right? So, you have to, like... You have to... Like, most people could stop him. Like, I think Joseph Joestar could get to him before he pulls off the emote, right? Especially with those whips that we were looking at. So I, I still think he's he's in the same spot. I think he's in the same spot. 
Unfortunately, Heavy from TF2 does lose to uh to Joseph Joestar. It's a close one though. Queen Elizabeth II uh, might be the weakest creature on this list. We could just put her down. Queen Elizabeth II. She would just die to anything. You could just like push her over. There's like might as well put paper. The Powerpuff Girls. Um, are we talking all of them? One of them? May from Overwatch. Okay, that's one that we could do. May Overwatch. So. We think about her ability. She has like an ice gun, right? Which allows her to kind of freeze enemies. Um, it freezes pretty quickly. So if something's running up to her, she can immediately press that and they start to freeze. And if she fully freezes them, one shot in the head just usually kills them unless they have a lot of health. So she's a pretty strong character, not to mention she could put up an ice wall to block. Um, she could shoot icicles from long range. So I, I, I mean, hypothetically, if we're talking about like May with full skill, she probably hits a lot of her shots. Um, that's going to be pretty deadly. Um, she can also freeze herself for defense. So that would be a way to escape, I think, Joseph Joestar's whip. Um, I don't think she could defeat the evil one. Um, so I feel like that's where I want to put her. May from Overwatch. I feel like that's where I want to put her. Because I, I think that she have uh, she could easily defeat, like, all humans. Um, even the Obama Secret Service guards. Just put up a wall and then just peek out. Dink! I mean, she can take Soldier 76 bullets without dying, right? So, she could take a Secret Service bullet. Um, she could take Light Yagami, I think she could take. She could, get the, she could get the icicle in there before he writes down the name. Um, Lightning McQueen... Put up the wall to stop him. Heavy TF2. She can withstand a bastion shot for like a second. So she just needs to get like uh, like an icicle in there. Or she can also put up the wall or just use her, her left shift to go into the icicle where she turns into an icicle. Yeah, I think I like her there. I like her there. Light should be lower, in my opinion. He doesn't have Shinigami eyes. Let, let's assume he has Shinigami eyes, then, so that he stays here, because I was kind of assuming that this whole time. The problem with Light is that he has to, uh... He has to write down the name, and, like, that takes time. Like, it takes time to do. So a lot of these characters, I think, can get to him and kill him before he can write down the name. That's why he is where he is. Let's start, uh, like, moving things lower I think like just so we can kind of balance out the list a little bit just kind of like move some things down we had a lot in A tier right There we go, there we go. All right, we're smoothing things out. All right, what next? What's this about? We're ranking everything ever. In power rankings in a one-on-one -on -one duel in an arena. Ness? Mario? We should do Mario, let's do Mario. That's a character that should be ranked, for sure. It's an iconic character. So, Mario can die. Um, he has lives, but in most games that he's in, if he gets hit, he dies. Um, usually he takes two hits. So, he takes one hit, and he goes down to little mode, and then he takes another hit and he dies. So, honestly, he can withstand, like, anything, in a way. Like, he could get hit by Lego Yoda with a lightning blade, you know, or with a lightsaber and then go down to little mode, but then Lego Yoda would just hit him again, you know? Um, let's assume he has his abilities. Let's say he has Fire Flower. It's a decent attack. Let's say he could fly around. I mean, it's a decent uh, agility move, but I think, honestly, Mario is not offensively that strong because he has to land on them to deal damage. And he's not, like, extremely fast. Um, even if we're taking into account Star, like, let's say he pulls out a Star, 
That only lasts a certain amount of time. He has to jump on them to kill them instantly. Um, I don't think he could jump enough to dodge TF2 bullets. I think that he could jump over Lightning McQueen. But I think that TF2 bullets, like he can't jump over all of them. You know, he's going to jump over them. And by the time he falls down, the bullets are going to hit him again. So I, th I think that Mario is like right here. But it's weird because I actually think that Light Yagami might be able to kill Mario. Yeah, I think actually Lightning McQueen, he's moving so quickly. Yeah, Lightning McQueen is moving so quickly. It might be hard for Mario to really dodge him or land on his head. He falls down too slowly. Yeah, actually, yeah. Mario might be below Steve for Minecraft, actually. Light would just write his name down, I think, before Mario could get to him. Honestly. He has power-ups, but, like... In the games, he can only ever hold, like, one, right? And there's not going to be any blocks in there. So let's say he has one power-up. No matter which one he has, I don't think he stands a chance. Even if he has star, it only lasts a certain amount of time. So, like, you can outrun him. If he has Fire Flower, yeah, it's a, it's a good, pretty decent, you know, offensive ability. I think Light Yagami could dodge that. He's athletic. If he has um, Flying Abilities, I, I still think Light could dodge it. Most of the uh, enemies that Mario face off, faces off against are very easy to defeat. They have a, they, they broadcast their, their movements very easily. Mario can just simply predict, oh, when do I need to jump on their head? Right at that moment. A human with, you know, high intellect like Light Yagami could dodge it. So that's where I'm putting Mario in B tier. Light Yagami has to live for 60 seconds to win. Is it 60? For some reason I thought it was 30 or 45, but I think he could do it. I already ranked myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm down here in F. I'm gonna put myself above Karl Marx and Lola Bunny, though. Uh, just to be honest, I think I could, I think I could, could, could kick their ass. But Jeff Bezos could destroy me. Godzilla. Okay. Let's take a look at Godzilla. Um, Godzilla very strong has lasers. Um. See if we can get like Godzilla abilities. All eight powers Godzilla has. Atomic breath. Godzilla's trademark power is his atomic breath, an ability that he's had since the original 1945 film. 1954 film. So atomic breath, I assume just anything in that laser just gets vaporized. Is that correct? Um he has flight? Wait, Godzilla has flight? Godzilla flying. Oh, he uses the laser to take flight? Oh my god. What? I did not know that he could do that. This whole time I've been arguing for the fact that King Kong could easily defeat Godzilla and I'm just now learning that Godzilla can fucking fly. I actually have to change my argument now. Every time- I've been asked this in chat like 30 times. Who's stronger, Godzilla or King Kong? And I always say King Kong. I, I think it's actually Godzilla now. Oh my, he can just fucking fly. I think this would be pretty hard for Kirby to defeat, honestly. I don't think Kirby could catch up to him speed-wise. This is really fast. And I, I, I honestly think that... I'm now, like, actually reevaluating. I think Arceus defeats Kirby as well. Um, and it really starts to become a, a battle here. I think Godzilla is definitely weaker than Saitama, but like Arceus versus Godzilla? That's tough. I think Arceus has more mobility than Godzilla and their powers are about the same. 
So I think that Arceus actually defeats Godzilla, but I, I think Godzilla easily defeats Kirby. I mean, Kirby can't catch up to that. Look at this. This is like, he's like flying at like lightning speed. He's like a fucking airplane. The fact that Godzilla can fly is like blowing me away. Look at this shit. Oh my God. He's just propelling himself. It's so, it's so silly. It's just like t t basically T-posing. Kirby can kill gods? That's true, Kirby has a fucking star he can fly on, and he can kill gods. Oh, that's true. Okay, we're putting Kirby back above Arceus. Good point, good point. This looks awesome, what are you talking about? This is so cool. This is one of the coolest things. You, prevent, you present Godzilla with a logic puzzle and he's KO'd. Angry video game nerd? The red angry bird? Um, I don't think the red angry bird is all that strong. Red angry bird. That is the most default angry bird. It's the one that you just shoot and it like, it has like like a, I guess like a higher defense, right? Because it can just kind of slam into things, but there's really no offensive power. The most it has is a beak. It doesn't even have legs. Um, it's not the exploding one. It's just regular. I, I honestly think this thing, like, without somebody controlling it, it's just there. Honestly, this might be the one thing Queen Elizabeth II can defeat. It's just a projectile. If you just put it in the ring, it would just sit there. It can't do anything. Although, I think that if Queen Elizabeth tried to run up to it, it might, like, bite her, and, like, she'd, like, fall over. Yeah. We'll put her above Queen Elizabeth II. We'll put the- we'll put the Angry Bird there, but that's a pretty weak creature. MC Ride is right below John Cena. I'm still debating in my head whether MC Ride can defeat Gordon Ramsay in a fight, but I, I think this is pretty this is pretty correct right here. Markiplier, okay, Markiplier is pretty strong. Um, we can analyze his uh, kind of like his weight class. Um, let me take a look at this picture. Kind of see he's like very very buff, uh, kind of a large shoulder set. Um, I don't think he's as strong as John Cena. Um, I don't know where he would rank up against Marge Simpson because Marge Simpson has combat training. I might have to put, um, Markiplier. Yeah, I would put Markiplier above Mark Marge Simpson. I think Marge Simpson has combat training, but she's not as strong. And like, I think Markiplier could deal with it. Nah, I think PewDiePie would honestly... I think PewDiePie would be below MC Ride, but above Kanye West. Um, PewDiePie is, like, fit, but, like, he's not, like, particularly, like, strong fit. He's just, like, toned, you know? I think MC Ride is a little more ballistic. Could kind of go crazy on PewDiePie, but I think that he could defeat Kanye West in a duel. I do think that. Um, okay. You think Patrick Mahomes should be higher? How tall is Markiplier? Oh, he's 5'10"? Okay, we just got a new update on the power rankings. Patrick Mahomes is fit. He's an athlete. He's stronger than Markiplier. Hate to say it. I did not realize Markiplier was that short. I'm taller than Markiplier. That's weird. I didn't I didn't think that was true. I did not think that I was taller than Markiplier. He would still easily kick my ass. Yes, I've seen PewDiePie shirtless. He's toned. He's toned. But he's not like jacked. He's not like huge. You know what I mean? Like Markiplier has weight to him. 
Drake and Josh together. Drake and Josh are actually kind of, you know, you see them as a, 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 a dynamic duo, right? Um, but they're not very smart. They're actually like, they kind of, um, they're better alone. Um, together, they, they kind of, they fail. They fail miserably at like everything that they try to do. Um, they kind of actually like suck in tandem. Um, it is two people, but they are high schoolers, right? So, I don't know. I, I think that honestly, MC Ride could take both of them. I think PewDiePie could probably take both of them. I mean, they lose to like a five-year-old girl like every day. I think that where they place is right above Kanye West again. Because I think that PewDiePie could beat the shit out of him, but Kanye West isn't exactly like, like strong physically. Um, and so two people could probably overpower him, but it's close. Th this is a close. I would like to see this matchup. Drake and Josh versus Kanye West. Hate to say it, chat, but I got to pee again. <laughs> Bladder time. I'm back. I'm back. <sighs> he should get his toilet installed at his desk. <laughs> Would I be allowed to like shit on, like, well not on camera, but you know what I mean, like on the mic? I feel like, like a person recently got banned for like queefing, right? Like if I, if I just shat right in my chair, like, I'd, I'd have to at least mute it. It'd basically be the same. They wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a sound effect, guys. I swear, it's a sound effect. I'm not actually shitting. One second, I have to wipe. I mean, I have to... <laughs> I have to grab my water! Alright, who are we ranking next? This song is so sad. Rank this, and it's a link. Should I click this link? What the hell is this, Barry? I'm scared of this. I'm gonna open it in a new tab so nobody sees it. 
I'm scared of what you're doing. Oh, okay. Okay. You want to see what he linked? You want to see what he linked, chat? Linus Tech Tips. You got to give me more creatures. Like, the humans are all going to be in, like, D and F. I don't know. Linus Tech Tips. Is he particularly strong? Linus Tech Tips um, Strength. Is this guy strong? Linus Tech Tips 2021. He's got a beard now. I didn't know that. He's kind of like a... He's not like necessarily like weak, but he's kind of like a small little dude, right? I think a lot of people could probably take him. Um, I think he would beat me up, but I, I think he would lose to Jeff Bezos. Linus Tech Tips. Siren Head. That's a good idea. Okay. So he is smart. He's smart, but not in a battle. He's, he knows computers. Okay. Siren Head. I love Siren Head. Okay, so, so this is a good, uh, actually, this is a good infographic for kind of figuring out more about him. I love Slimy Swamp Ghost. You should follow them on Twitter if you don't. This is the creator of Siren Head. Um, okay, so it's around 40 feet tall, about the size of a telephone pole. Skin looks very rusty metal. It's actually dried and mummified skin. Arms as long as the length of the body. So big reach, so long reach. That's pretty powerful in an arena setting. <laughs> Kanye would beat his ass. No, he wouldn't. Uh, he's inside of different head arrangements. Um, he's able to change his head when he's hunting. Okay. Highly skilled predator using deception and subterfuge to confuse and disorient prey. That is a really strong attack. Like the speakers would disorient the prey um, and then he would hunt them. Um, I think any like like very animal creature would definitely get destroyed by this. I think even humans would be very, very scared. Speakers constantly pump out strange music, odd snippets of conversation. Um, even when it's asleep, it plays white noise. Speakers are the only actual metal. Abdomen and chest show wires pressed against the skin. They rhythm when it's agitated, okay. Will remain motionless while hunting, sometimes for days at a time. Most frequently seen in rural town areas and in heavy wooded areas. Head will rotate on its neck as it broadcasts, much like an owl looking for prey. Okay, so like a pretty strong creature, and like I think that obviously the strongest thing about it is that it's fucking tall as hell. I mean, this thing is 40 feet tall, meaning it's obviously going to defeat any humans. I mean, it's going to disorient Courage the Cowardly Dog, disorient Tony the Tiger. I think it could take a convertible. I don't think really a convertible is going to do much to it. It's fucking 40 feet tall. Um... It could defeat Scooby-Doo. It, 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 it is tall and huge, but its offensive abilities don't seem like insane, like S-tier strength, right? Like, I'm, I'm trying to debate here if it would lose to... I think it beats all of these. Would it lose to Heavy from TF2? Because, like, could the bullets, like, shoot down its legs to eventually, like, shoot it down to the ground? Um, it says wires cover its skin, right? It's dried mummified skin. I feel like that'd be pretty easy to shoot off with like a machine gun. It has weak limbs. Abdomen and wires show pressed against the skin. I think that maybe Heavy from TF2 actually tears apart Siren Head. That might honestly be where I put it. It's so big, though, is the thing. Like, it's tough. Because so I do think Siren Head, like, I've seen it run. Like, I've seen that Fallout mod where it's, like, sprinting. Um, I'm not sure if the bullets would, would affect it. This is tough. Hmm. I don't think Steve could beat it. Siren Head, Siren Head is a better hunter than the Ender Dragon chat. The Ender Dragon is like sucks at hunting. It, it just flies around in a circle and then it comes down in the same exact spot. It's like really easy to defeat. Um, Siren Head ha like hunts, so it could just easily hunt for Steve, and it has so much. It's so huge, so uh, presumably a lot of health um, would be pretty hard for Steve to take down, even with the best equipment in the game. Um. I think that I'm going to put it above Heavy from TF2. At like the top of B tier. 
I really think that it could get to heavy before heavy like shoots it all the way down. Uh, it's so big, dude. Like just like one step and it's like already at heavy. Like think about a Coliseum and Siren Head is in one quarter and heavy is in the other. And heavy, like it takes a second to spin up his gun. And by that time, Siren Head, I, I literally think it's already there. Just step, just steps on TF2 heavy. Whereas May from Overwatch, like in the cinematic uh, video, she's able to kind of like, like just like freeze that entire giant mecha. So like, she could just freeze Siren Head. Um, Joseph Joestar, uh, maybe he loses the Siren Head now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know. I might have to. I might actually have to put him above Joseph Joestar. But right below May. Just because May has been shown to destroy a mech. Heavy strong, he was able to stop a train with only his hands? Really? Really? True, Joseph could use the clackers. Never mind. You 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 guys are you're swaying me. You're swaying me. You're swaying me. I think that. Siren Head loses to Joestar. I still think it beats Heavy. I think even if Heavy could stop the force of Siren Head, Siren Head bends down and then eats it. I mean, look at its look at its teeth. Yeah, he uses the clackers. We learned we learned about the clackers earlier. We read all about it. You want to rank Naruto? Somebody said Naruto earlier. Naruto is a really strong character. Um, he has been shown to defeat. Kind of like the god of Naruto. It's kind of a spoiler, but it's a very strong character that can overcome a lot, like in extreme um, defensive capabilities with the, uh, the the Sage of Six Paths kind of energy that he uses, whatever the fuck that's called, with his like arms that can hold things, stop things. Um, he's very very fast, huge abilities to be able to move around quickly. He can turn into a log, like all the Naruto ninjas. Um, I think that, like, Mewtwo is kind of, like, around the same power level in my eyes as, like, Pain. Like, Pain from Naruto. Swallowest Monster, thank you for the tier one. Damn, a year? I can't believe it's been a year. That's insane. Hope you're doing well, dude. Um, I think that Pain is around the level of Mewtwo, and so Naruto's stronger than that. I think Naruto could defeat a military. Um, I think that Naruto could probably defeat Godzilla, honestly. They just throw like a shit ton of stuff at him, like Rasane shurikens, and he could turn into a giant fucking Nine Tails Fox, which is basically like as as big as Godzilla. Um, I really think that Naruto is pretty strong here. I think when it starts to getting to Arceus, I think that's where it falls flat. I think that's where Naruto maybe loses. So I'm going to put him above Godzilla, but below Arceus, I think, I think, I think Arceus could just move around and just do too much, too much, has too much power, could spawn just in unlimited Pokemon. But his, yeah, he has, he has health, so like he can be defeated, but I think his power of creation is too strong for Naruto. That's my, hon that's my honest opinion. Kirby only defeats Arceus because Kirby can defeat gods, but also, like, Kirby could just suck up all the Pokemon, gain all of the powers, and then use them against Arceus. An adult male chimpanzee? Okay, that's a good one. Um, I think an adult male chimpanzee is stronger than any human, honestly. I think an adult male chimpanzee could rip John Cena's arms off. Um, I think... I'm not sure if it could defeat Tony the Tiger, though. So I'm going to put an, an adult chimpanzee right below Tony the Tiger. But that's a strong one. Stronger than any human. Harambe? I think Harambe is slightly stronger than a chimpanzee because it's a gorilla 
but I still think Tony the Tiger would beat it just because Tony the Tiger is like has tiger capabilities, so very strong, slashing, um, biting, but is like basically the size of Harambe in terms of strength, um, height. Add this tier list to the tier list maker. Yeah, then you can rank it yourself. That actually would be kind of fun. A grizzly bear? Huh. Tony the Tiger. I think a grizzly bear beats... Uh? Ah? <laughs> this fucking image. What would win? A grizzly bear or a gorilla? Yo, not that mild. Thank you for the tier one. I always love seeing a new sub. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. A grizzly beats a silverback 10 times out of 10. A average silverback weighs around 350. While gorillas are quick, the bears have them beat. I kind of agree with that. Apparently the Siberian tiger defeats the grizzly bear. So I think that an adult grizzly bear defeats Harambe, but loses to Tony the Tiger. I mean, it's just facts. Why, are there no Why can't I look at images? Oh, it's all the way over here. Yeah, that's Tony the Tiger right there. All right. Have you ever seen a bald bear? It's hilarious. No, I haven't. Let's look it up. Bald bear. Oh, no, I have seen this before. I have seen these. Oh my god. That's really funny. They're kind of gross looking. They're kind of cool, actually, though. Like, they don't look as scary when you look at them like But this is a black bear. Black bears are honestly not that terrifying. Black bears are actually, like, really scared of, uh,. Of people like you can easily ward off a black bear like if you just like if you go like ah! <laughs> and, like put your arms out it like runs away they're actually pretty timid but grizzly bears are a whole I'd, I'd like to see a grizzly bear bald grizzly bear there really isn't one is there weird rank bender from Futurama Thank you, Sabalarat. Sabalarat, for two months. Rank Bender from Futurama. Bender Futurama. I gotta kind of understand some of his abilities. So, like, Bender, as far as I can understand, right? Because I, I watched the first couple episodes. Bender can't die, correct? Which is why in, like, one of the first episodes, might have been the first one, he tries to, like, kill himself. Um, with, like, the kill, kill themselves machine or whatever. Um, so he's like kind of like in invincible, but all he can really do is bend metal, but he can bend the unbendable, right? So he can bend anything. Um, but I've also seen him, he, he gets dismantled, right? Um, he gets dismantled. Like I've seen his head like rolling around. Like you can take off his head. So he's not like really that strong, but he can bend things. I, I'm trying to think like, I kind of think he would defeat a lot of humans. Um, but I think that like a, a really strong human could probably like rip his arms off or something. Like, what do you guys think? Do you think Bender could defeat John Cena or other way around? That's where, I, that's where I'm kind of, I'm lying around somewhere around here. In a later episode, he finds out he is defective and can die. Oh, really? You think he's? I I kind of think he's below John Cena as well. Yeah. I like that. Below John Cena. He could bend John Cena, but I don't think he'd get the he he wouldn't get the opportunity. He wouldn't get the opportunity to do it. John Cena would kill him before he could do it. By the way, hype train. Can we get to level two? Easy mode. It's like. Super easy mode. You can do it. You can do it, chat. You can do it. Goose shades! Rank Twitch chat. All of Twitch chat combined? Okay, well, there are, 
Are currently, according to my viewer number, there's 144 people here. So, we average around that number. So, like, you know, we'll say like 150 people, right? So, 150 nerds. 150 nerds. Um, that would easily defeat any human. I kind of think a lot of you, like, if you all banded together, um, you would lose to bullets. I think the Secret Service guards could just kill all of you, honestly. Um, Scoopy-Doo, I think, could turn into a monster, just kind of own all of you. Oh my god! I'm still cute! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Jesus. What, what does that take us to? Does that take us to level 3? Thank you. Thank you. Hell yeah. We're gonna reach the sub goal. Um, the baby convertible, I think, would run all you guys over, honestly. I honestly, Among Us Imposter could stab all of you. I think you're somewhere around here. I think you could take Harambe, like all of you combined. Noah Watt, thank you for the bits. Oh my god. Only 11 more and Astro will breathe. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been breathing this whole time. I think, yeah, I think you would lose to a grizzly bear chat. All of Twitch chat. Yep. You would lose. You would lose to a grizzly bear. What would you do to Harambe? That's true, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, what would you do? Just, like, punch him? I don't think he would care. Yeah. That actually makes no sense. You might actually lose to Harambe. I do think you could take on one chimpanzee, though. I'll give you that, chat. Vite, thank you for the gift sub. Oh my god. We're so close. Oh, we hit it with the wizard butts 100 bits. Now, can we defeat level 5, the final boss? The real final boss. Where do we rank the hype train on the tier list? Can Twitch chat defeat the hype train? Right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> right now, level 5 hype train defeats all of Twitch chat. And if, if you want to be higher than the level 5 hype train, you have to defeat level 5. Right now. Are you higher on the tier list than the level 5 hype train? That's what we need to know. Speaking of bald animals, have you seen a bald chimpanzee? I think I have, yeah. Bald chimpanzee. Yeah, this guy's awesome. I love this guy. Honestly, this guy's really funny. Bald chimp. <laughs> no a lot and Garsh, they give the bits. This is gonna be tough. 7%. Horizon from Apex and Revenant from Apex? Yeah, he's jacked. You guys really think you can beat a chimpanzee? Lilac Boy is just also me. What do you mean? It doesn't have any like special abilities. It's just also me. You could just do this. Thank you for the bits, Josh. I have to be realistic. Return to monkey. I'll one man a bear just to show you wrong. I don't think any of you could defeat a bear. The Sleep Deprived Podcast, like all four of us together. Okay, I mean, we have a advantage in that it's four people. So I think the four of us could defeat Drake and Josh. I think we could take on PewDiePie if it was all four of us, honestly. Chainsaw Man, please. Okay, we can rank him. Thank you, Bike Rider and Kurotora. Oh man, I don't know if we're going to get level five. Um, Schlatt doesn't have an actual gun, okay, chat? It's like, it's, I'm pretty sure it's fake. Um, probably, I'm not sure, actually. Okay, so all four of us, we could take on Gordon, we could take on a dog. When we start getting to, like, this level, I'm starting to think that we can't. I don't know. I think that we could take on everything here except John Cena. I think just because it's four of us at once. I think we could we could just jump on Bender's back and just rip him rip him apart, honestly, like a like a bunch of monkeys. But uh John Cena could probably take all four of us. He's so strong. He's like big and buff. But we could definitely not take on an adult chimpanzee. We would lose to a chimpanzee. We would honestly lose. Okay, Chainsaw Man. I don't know a lot about Chainsaw Man. 
I've read um, maybe 10, 20 chapters of Chainsaw Man. So this guy essentially could turn into a chainsaw guy. Like he has chainsaws on his arms and he has one on his head and he can just rip things apart. That's a pretty strong ability. Like without even reading into him, that's stronger than John Cena. He could rip apart a bear. He could rip apart Tony the Tiger. I think he could probably face off against the imposter. Um, Scooby-Doo. Obama. Do you think he could withstand a bullet? What do you think, Jet? He's almost unkillable? Really? Chainsaw Man abilities. Doom, ba -doom, doom. Abilities. Enhanced strength. He can throw a car out of the air. He withstood a point-blank blast. Okay, so he can, like, withstand explosions and, like, fire bullets. Okay, so he's pretty strong, like, defensively. Okay. Good to know. Um. Okay, then I think he could defeat... I could, he could chop up Siren Head, probably. I think that he starts getting up into this area. I don't know if he could take on... Shinji. I don't know about that. Thank you for the bits, Noah. I don't know if he could defeat Shinji. He can def take on Shinji? Really? I just feel like his offensive powers aren't as good. Yeah, you guys just lost to the hype train. That's so cringe. The level 5 hype train is stronger than all of you. It's just how it is. I think the Chainsaw Man... I haven't read as far, so maybe... <laughs> maybe he is stronger. I feel like he's like right around here. Evil One is a big chunk of metal. Like, can he cut through metal? Like, that much metal? It's really big. Like, Evil One is like the size of Godzilla. Thank you, Sarah, for the 100 bits. I guess I'm like, I, I don't want to get spoiled here, right? He maybe he has some powers I don't know about. From, but from what I can understand... Without spoilers, I think he beats Eva. Okay, you know, I'll put him right here. I'll put Chainsaw Man right here, just for you. You're back from your class. What's up, what's up Jazz? Yeah, Shinji could defeat angels. Like, it, it's really, I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna put him here. I'm gonna put him here, but look. I could be wrong on this. And I'm probably gonna put, um, I'm gonna move May lower than Joseph Joestar as well. I'm gonna call an audible there. Chat was getting mad at me for that. Rank Akuma from my, from my comic. So, as it stands right now, I mean, I can't, I don't wanna give too many spoilers. Akuma hasn't unlocked a lot of what she could potentially do. So, I think as it stands right now, she would be somewhere maybe in the B tier. I think that she would be right above Lightning McQueen, but right below the Heavy from TF2. And I can't explain much of why, but that's where I would put her, just in my head power rankings. Doom guy? Doom guy has health, right? Like a limited amount of health, but he has like tons of power ups. He can shoot like energy shit. He could, like jump around and stuff, right? Like, he takes, he, like destroys demons. Um, he's pretty strong. I think like Doom guy versus Chainsaw Man would be like a pretty epic fight. They're both like very similar in their energy. What do you think? Is Doom Guy stronger than Chainsaw Man? Like hypothetically, he can just go like Doom Guy can go forever. I think he could get outlast Chainsaw Man. I'd pay to see that. <laughs> Above Sans Undertale. Lower than Joseph. Okay, we'll put him here. Why is Lightning McQueen above Light Yagami? 
Um, because Lightning McQueen could just like literally like like run over Light Yagami. <laughs> like and Lightning McQueen isn't a human, so so Light can't kill it. Like he can't write Lightning McQueen in his death note. Lightning is not a human. The death note only works with humans. And so Lightning McQueen just it, it would take a while probably, but Lightning McQueen just has to run light over. So that's why. Ugh. Ben 10? What can Ben 10 do? I never watched Ben 10. Ben 10 powers. Okay. Ben Tennyson. His last name is fucking Tennyson? The fuck? This is for the Prime Universe, Ben Tennyson. To visit for his reboot counterpart. See here. Okay. Ben Tennyson is the ultimate main protagonist of the Cartoon Network series Ben 10. He was a normal 10-year-old kid until he found the Omnitrix, a powerful watch-like device that allowed him to turn into 10 different aliens. Though initially immature and clumsy, he grew to be a true hero. By the time he was 16, he had become famous in not only his hometown of Bellwood, but in Earth and beyond. Ben has also been deputized by the plumbers. <laughs> what? And gained more aliens as time progressed. Okay, so you can turn into aliens. Okay. So what kind of aliens can he turn into here? Power and abilities. Oh god, there's a lot here. Trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Received basic plumber training. I don't really know how that has to do with his abilities. Um, like, what does that have to... Like, he's, what, is he gonna fucking plunge a toilet in the battle? Why is that relevant? This must mean something else. So he's good at combat. He's actually like a strong fighter. He succeeded in the Plumber's Academy with- I don't care about his plumber score. Okay, good. He got a 95 on the plumber test. I don't, congrats, you have a plumbing license. Freak. Extremely smart. Possessing above average intelligence. Shown he has a good memory. Advanced intuition. So he's smart. Skillful. He can dodge Atiyah's punches. I don't really know what that means. Okay, equipment. Wielder of the Omnitrix. Literally making him an alien shapeshifter. Traditionally, he could only transform into 10 aliens at the beginning, but he later gains the ability to unlock a bunch more. At the end of the original series, his arsenal included 20 aliens, and his current complete list is 62 aliens discovered. Oh my god. With transforming into an alien, Ben gets all the creature's features, including appearance, voice, and its unique and special abilities. Though he mostly retains his personality, there are some cases where the transformation can change it, making him more aggressive, childish, reproduction instincts, um, politeness, okay. I need to see what some of these aliens can do, though he usually uses aliens to fight. Um, so he can fight normally, he can transform. The Omnitrix display the ability to manipulate and repair genetic damage. Oh my god, so he can like heal himself in the fight. He can bring back to life any species stored on Primus. So he could like bring aliens into the battle. This is like a really strong character. This is a really strong character. It can prevent Ben from dying. If Ben is in mortal danger and the Omnitrix is in recharge mode, it will automatically go into active mode. Oh my god. He's very strong. Okay, so regenerative powers can like basically revive himself um, and can transform into aliens. Um, uh, this is really strong. What are his weaknesses? Whenever the device times out, Ben is left powerless until he either dodges or switches to a new alien form. So the, the time kind of runs out. So at some point, the Omnitrix runs out of power. And I assume if it revives him and then he dies again, he probably can't be revived again. So there is like a limit, but this is really, really strong. Um, Ben's left eye also twitches whenever he tells a lie, which means almost nothing, and I don't know why I read it out loud. Um, okay, so what are some of the aliens? Ben 10 aliens that he can transform into. Okay, here's the transformations. Ben 10,000? What? Ben's aliens. Way big, Alien X. Alien X looks really strong, let's look at him. 
Alien X is a celestial sapien from the Forge of Creation. Nearly invulnerable and extremely strong, being able to casually thrash around in an Arborian Pelar Pelarota, and easily withstanding being attacked by Max using a big stick. <laughs> what? His pure celestial sapien DNA makes him more powerful than Alien V, whose DNA is diluted during a fusion. He can shapeshift, allowing him to form weapons from his limbs. Can grow at a gigantic size. So yeah, he's like basically stronger than Godzilla. I think that Ben 10 is stronger than Godzilla and right below Naruto. This is a very strong character, but Naruto uh, also has talk no jutsu, but not even that, just is very strong. He can survive a timeline destruction. He can terraform the planet. Naruto dealt with that when he fought pain. I think Ben 10 is right here, but that that is an insane character. Oh my God. He's not invincible, but he's goddamn close. He's goddamn close. Rank Batman. Batman is unironically not that strong. Um, from what I can understand, Batman is just a guy in like a in like a rich suit, and he has a car, and he can like use like human weaponry. Um, he's strong. He's stronger than any human, but I mean, I think he would defeat a grizzly bear for sure. He's got like some superhuman strength. I think he would defeat Tony the Tiger. Um, I think he would defeat Obama and the Secret Service guards. I think he could probably defeat Mario, but I think this is around the spot where he would lose to Light Yagami, is what, I, is what I'm thinking. I think that he would be... Uh, but I also think he could stop a car, Lightning McQueen. I think he could stop the car. I think that Batman is right below Akuma. Yeah, Light doesn't know his name. It's just Batman. True. He wouldn't know that Batman is Bruce Wayne. He hasn't seen the movie yet. It's canon. Light Yagami hasn't seen the movie. So that's a B tier for me. Strong human. Very, very strong. But Akuma would defeat him. <laughs> Why is Lightning McQueen still so fucking high? Because he can run over Light Yagami. And Steve from Minecraft. He's in a very good spot. He has the eyes, but can he see through the suit? I don't know if he can see through the suit, chat. I don't think he can see through the suit. You ever think about that? Think about that? Steve can just TNT him. <laughs> Look, he could avoid that. He could avoid that. Okay. Shaggy Ultra Instinct. I think that there is a character we've all been forgetting, and it's Shaggy Ultra Instinct, who is said to be using barely any of his power and can destroy almost any being. Um, if we can get the chart here, there's a really good image that kind of shows off his power. Um, but I, I honestly think that this is a creature that could defeat Maxwell from Scribblenauts. I I genuinely think Ultra Instinct Shaggy w was said to be able to defeat Saitama with only like 1% of his power. Um, I think that the only thing that could defeat Shaggy Ultra Instinct is God. And so I'm going to put that up here. I just want to throw that one in here. I think Shaggy would just easily get to Maxwell before Maxwell could even type it. You know what I mean? So I gotta put that one up there. And uh, yeah, I think that's, honestly, I think this is the definitive tier list. Maybe we can continue this next time and throw some more, but honestly, uh, all I wanna say is that I would beat the shit out of Karl Marx. And I honestly, I would, if me and Karl Weezer were squaring up in a, in a boxing ring, you're going down, Karl. You're going down.